now we are going to learn how to create a accounting calendar so as we are in the process of learning basics uh, so uh, calendar also uh, how to create a calendar and uh, where to use that calendar where to assign this all we are going to see in this video so if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe to best tech learn channel so that you will get new updates from my channel so now yeah let's get into topic if you wanted to perform any financial transactions or any inventory transactions you want to create any inventory organization or any kind of transactions you want to perform then uh, we need a uh, prime we need primary ledger so uh, to define a primary ledger what we require we mainly require um, currency and then calendar and chart of accounts also sub ledger accounting methods these are the things required to define a primary ledger so in that process we need to define first general ledger so gl setups we are going to see now so for that first we are going to define how to create a accounting calendar in this video define accounting calendar we are going to see now so let's come to the practical session see you can type here in the task uh, like accounting calendar just search it or you can go with the navigation as well so see here it is uh, in the uh, in the financial reporting structure it is available just click on the managing manage accounting calendars option so once you click on that it will open the calendars window uh, you see here it uh, it is showing um, all the uh, existing calendars which are created in the system and you can see the view like query by example or recorder columns detach columns what are the columns are required and uh, for each and every record what is about it so all you can see and here create button and if you see edit if you want to edit any calendar you can click on this and also this is export to excel if you want to export this data into excel then you can have a, this option and also uh, here this option is for query by example you can write and query and see so now we are going to see about how to create a calendar this is the initial step so here uh, you just see the name uh, name you can uh, have to give like a uh, remember name and also you have to follow some naming specifications by looking the name itself the business uh, and what are the client that all we have to understand that way we have to give so here i'm just giving bt learn as my best tech learn channel i'm giving tutorials so bt learn uh, calendar this is calendar right so cal like that i've given and if you want to uh, define any description, you you have to give it here. And start date. See, start date is month, day, year. In this format, you have to give. So now I am going to select from 1st Jan 2023. Click on this. Select this start date. So here uh, you see frequency. You can select date wise or weekly or monthly quarterly yearly any uh, based on your client business requirement you have to select here so as of now i'm selecting here monthly so if you uh, select monthly it will show this period name format here uh, you see first period it is showing like this like uh, the format will be month name and the year like this it is showing if you want to add any prefix then you can have here uh, here iphone it is showing right the separator if you don't want uh, you you want slash you can give it like this so it is uh, defined i mean uh, based on the client requirement you have to select this or else by default you can give like this so the format will be like the, uh, any format it is like a month a year uh, that format or year month uh, 
or whatever the formats are uh, in this list you can select as per your wish okay so which means as per the requirement you can select this so here uh, adjusting period frequency and the budget control only that we will see uh, later as these are the basics we uh, enough for uh, these uh, uh, what details okay so now we just click on next button so if you click on next it will create all the periods for that particular year based on monthly period frequency we have selected monthly right you you can see here jan feb march april like that till uh, december it will create so here you see it will create automatically a uh, period number and quarter number as well as start date and end date for that particular month so here see uh, this quarter is first three months comes under of uh, uh, first quarter and second three months comes under second quarter that way uh, uh, the periods will get created you can see here adjusting period what does it mean this adjusting period means uh, sometimes like uh, for india it might be like uh, uh, i mean the salary or uh, any kind of salary and transactions uh, will perform through from from first of the month to end end of the month like first jan to 31st jan like that but if you see in our us uh, it will be like first of jan to 27th of jan and uh, from next month it is like 28th jan to 27th feb like that it will uh, take so that time you have to click on adjust period and you can change this start it and end it okay so that does uh, that it means the uh, adjusting period if you it, it depends on a country uh, based on which country it will be like that okay so yeah now we are going to save it so this is for 23 year now uh, for the next year if you want to create another period uh, i mean another year, year uh, periods then you no need to create a new calendar under the same calendar you can add an year that i'll show you once you save it you can see here add year option is enabled so if you add an year then automatically for uh, 2024 year you see the periods got created that way we can create a, a new year periods as well so i hope you understood well right now we'll see save and close we'll click on save and close this is about how to create a new calendar for any kind of transactions okay so yeah let, let's just hit save and close we will see we can close this session yeah you can if you want you can uh, uh, I mean, uh, select your, cal your calendar as well bt learn right just select this right. see this is my calendar let us define the period is 24 30th December. okay so yeah i hope you understood uh, about this topic right thank you